Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. Just wanted to show you this 11 year old BMW 328i that I have completely, well no, let me take that back. We had a budget we had to deal with. We didn't want to put a lot of money into this car because it's getting ready to be sold, but we wanted it to stand out in the crowd. This car here, what we've done with it is we strip washed it. We use Purple Power vehicle and bolt wash to be able to completely strip and decontaminate to some level, remove all the traffic film off the paint. And then after that, I clayed it. I clayed it with a clay disc, actually a Max Shine clay disc, a six inch clay disc that I used in my hand. And I used Wolfgang Uber rinseless wash as a clay lube and then after that I hit it with a body solvent. I hit it with Dupli Color Paint Prep and then once that was done I used Auto Appearance Victory Nano Polish and Seal as an all-in-one polish to go all the way around this car to give us really nice shining gloss. Is this car perfect? Absolutely not. It's 11 years old. It looks really nice on camera. In fact, in person, it looks amazing. Got tremendous shining gloss. We got all the swirls off the paint that we could appropriately get off with the budget we were working with. Again, this is being sold, but I just wanted to show you the end results of this BMW 328i, about 11 year old vehicle. I'll get over here. We also had some, I'll bring you in here, see if you guys can see this on the camera. There was some damage on the door here. I don't know if it's going to show up, although the shining gloss with me there is pretty nice. There is some, there is some clear coat damage here, some really deep scratches along the paint. What was here before was paint transfer, white paint transfer. I actually removed it with 3000 grit sandpaper and then I went in with an all-in-one polish, the Victory Nano Polish and Seal, the all-in-one from auto appearance here in Dallas and then just kind of buffed out the wet sanding marks and continued on with the vehicle. The vehicle has seen better days. There's some etching from the brake dust that's been left on these matte colored wheels, but that's okay. We got them dialed in with Meguiar's wheel brightener and then I've got some water-based tire dressing on there. We don't want anything too slimy, sticky or over wet looking, but there you go. There is a, what I call, when somebody wants to take a used car and try to get it ready for sale, so I call this my used car prep. <laughs> Does that even make sense? Getting ready to, to let it go out to the open market and be sold. I get a lot of customers that want to do this with their cars just before they sell them. I think every dime my client has invested in this vehicle will come back to him. He'll also probably get a little bit more money for the car because it looks really nice compared to 11 year old BMW's 328i's that might be on the road. He wants to stand out in the crowd. Just wanted to share that with you, all the products I use to finish results. I love you guys. Just wanted to show you that nice shiny gloss. Is this paint perfect? God no. When I first started with this car, this car was a level four in my opinion. I have raised it to a six and a half, maybe a seven. Nah, I'll drop down to six and a half. That's where we're at with this car. It took about four and a half hours. Wash it, clay it, paint prep it, all in one polish, and then I did the interior as well, light cleaning, vacuuming, protection, did the glass about four and a half hours or so. And I'm getting out of here. Just wanted to show that to you. Love you guys, talk to you soon.